So let's just do let's just do a quick overview. This is a new item from Ryobi, 800 watt inverter. Uh, it's got multiple inputs. So you've got these inputs up here for the 800 watts. These can these come with the Ryobi. They connect up here. And then for the 12 volts on the side, you get this cord and that plugs in here and that supplies 12 volts, but only 120 watts. So this is the lowest input, the lowest rated input at 120 watts is this connector right here. You can put a battery in and if you put a battery in, then you can't do 12 volts, okay? Uh, let's just take a quick look at the bottom and the mounting options. It comes with these feet. What they were intending is for these feet to be put in like this, and then it's way easier to wall mount it. Now you just put your screws in and you're done. I thought that was pretty nice, pretty clever. So I'm leaving these on it just so that I don't lose them and so that people can see see the feature, but you do not have to have these feet on there. The other thing that I thought was kind of interesting is there's a clip here and a clip here, and I don't know what they're for. It's almost as if they were planning something that this clips down into. I don't know what uh, that would be. If anybody knows, please comment. I, I, I'd be very curious. I don't know what that product would be if it's existing or future. So here we've got the outputs. We've got two ACs, we've got 2.4 amps. I believe that's total for both of these outputs on the, the old style USB. And then the new USB-C, we've got 20 watts out. So we're gonna connect this up to this battery. It's lithium iron phosphate. We're going to see that it does work. There's no compatibility issues between lithium iron phosphate and this. And the interesting thing is, is that this does fail over. So if that 800 watt input from these connectors up here is disconnected, it fails over to the next available option if the load isn't too high. I thought that was pretty cool. So let's take a look at that feature because I, I, thought, I thought that was pretty neat. So we're gonna put a battery in there. We're gonna connect these guys up here. So these connectors are all come ready to go. We just put these in here like that. And like that. Now we can clamp onto lead acid or lithium. So here's our negative, here's our positive, and then we can power it on. Okay, and there's the display. And for watts, they show VV. So volts is one V, watts is two Vs. Yeah, right, okay. So that's the display, nice little display. They've got a, a light on here. So if you're in a power outage, I suppose that's gonna be handy. All right, and then what we're gonna do is hook up a bunch of loads. So I've got, let's move that back there. So I've got my old S9 Note. Uh, this is an old Samsung. This is, I think that's an S7. So this one is USB-C. We'll plug that in. Okay, the display, whoops, want the display on. So that's showing five watts. Oh, here we go. So almost 10 watts there, charging on that one. Okay, now this one is charging. So we're at, I don't know how many watts it is. It's like 13 and it's going a little crazy. 16 watts, all right, so it settled down. I saw 16 watts, but anyway, you can see that on the camera. So you can watch that. Now let's also plug in this. So I'll use this adapter. All right, let's see here. 
fast charging, 20 minutes. So this is fast charging. This, uh, this is the Samsung uh, Note 20. So we've got everything charging on the 800 watt input. I think, yeah, we can see the green LED here. This is the input that it's choosing. So we'll disconnect this. It will, it will lose, the outputs will lose power temporarily. It's not a perfectly seamless failover. It cuts out and then it, and then it chooses the input and uh, powers back on. So it's not a perfectly seamless failover like an uninterruptible battery supply. It's, it's not like that, but it's still pretty cool. So we'll disconnect this power from 800 watts, is disconnected, it goes red, it shuts down. Okay, so charging has stopped, there's no output. It switches over to 300 watts, charging is resuming. So here we've got charging coming back and it's fast charging on this phone. So this, this output is still fast charging. And so now it's running off of this. Now, if power is restored to the 800 watt input, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. But if this runs dead, or is disconnected, it will fail over back to the 800 watt. Okay, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so it cuts the power, but then it starts charging back up. We can see that these phones now are going back to charging. So it's not perfectly seamless, but it does do it. I've got this old stupid ceramic heater. I'm gonna put it on its lowest setting. I hope that's not much more than 500 watts. I'm thinking it's 500 and about a thousand, I think is about what that is. It could be 600, 1200, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna plug this in. I'm not gonna set this dirty heater up on my YouTube studio, so you'll just have to Believe me that that's what's plugged in here. And okay, so we hear the, okay, so it's about 500 watts. We can hear that thing ramping up. We hear the, we can hear the, the fans here. I'll hold this thing up here so people can see that this is, this is powering this thing, blowing hot air in my face. So that's the heater, it's running. This is the fans on that. Okay, we're up to 650, 660 watts. I'll put this back here. So it's, it's pumping out 660 watts. It's pretty good. Here, let's see, can we add, can we charge? This is the Microsoft Surface adapter. Let's see if it will charge the Microsoft Surface. So what are we at, 680? I just booted up the Microsoft Surface, 680. This thing's, this thing's kicking out plenty. I mean, so there we go. Um, so, all right, let's try failover. It's obviously not gonna have enough power on 300 watts. So what is it gonna do? Is it gonna pick and choose outputs to shut down? What's it gonna do? I don't know, actually. So we'll disconnect this. I think it's gonna just shut down. Let's see what it does. So it's switched over to 300 watts. It's flashing. So it's maintaining power to these DC devices. Let's see here, is it charging? Yeah, I think it turned off these. So these DC, the DC outputs are still working. Yeah, this, these, it turned off these, but it's still powering these. So that's pretty interesting. I, I was not expecting that. So it chose which outputs to power. So let's unplug the heater and leave the, we'll unplug the heater and we'll leave 
the laptop plugged in. Okay, so we'll leave that. Here, let's push the button. Is it gonna switch? It did. It did. It turned power back onto this. Wow. Wow. Ryobi, that is pretty cool. This thing is really neat. Good job, Ryobi. This thing, well, um, on that, you know, you can always add more, more of these outputs, that kind of thing. So you can get more USB, more USB-C. All right, let's try this. Let's put, so I own the Ryobi um, car charger. So it's for charging Ryobi batteries from a, okay, I'm gonna plug that in there. I've got the light on up here. I've got a, what is this, a three amp hour. It's a little bit low, at least it'll pull a charge. Yeah, that kicked up. Boy, that pulls, that pulls a few watts. Okay, so let's see here. Put that back on there. Pull this one out. Okay, so on 800 watts, of course it's gonna work on 800 watts. Okay, so this one. on the screen there. The icon changed for the input. Okay. So there it is. So it's working. Good job, Ryobi.